Hello. Our wet and windy week of weather continues on Wednesday with the low pressure still very much driving our weather. There's going to be heavy downpours for some of us through the day and actually over the next few days. Often we're going to see rain, strengthening winds, mainly still quite mild for the time of year. But gales developing, overnight rain sweeping its way eastward. So by the time we get to about six o'clock, on Wednesday morning, most of us generally frost free, but some heavy showers from the word go pushing in from the north and the west. And low pressure is going to sit to the north of the UK through the day. You can see the proximity of all these isobars on the chart. That's showing us that it is going to be a blustery sort of day. Plenty of showers driven in from the Atlantic. So the heaviest of the downpours will be in the west during this morning. Parts of Scotland, Northern Ireland, and also then pushing into Wales and Western England too. Gales around coastal parts of the English Channel, through the Irish Sea coast, up towards the Western Isles, for instance. So 60 mile per hour gusts possible there. But even further inland, we're looking at 30, possibly 40 mile per hour gusts of wind through the day on Wednesday. So a blustery day. Heavy downpours reaching eastern areas during the afternoon after a fairly bright morning here and temperatures a little cooler than recent days about 7 to 11 degrees feeling colder if you're exposed to the brisk wind and those heavy showers that many of us will see some snow for a time over the high ground of Scotland too overnight showers ease in the north but the next batch of heavy rain sweeps eastwards across much of England and Wales so it's going to be a really quite damp start to Thursday morning I think could be a touch of frost for some sheltered glens of Scotland but still mild to start the day towards the south on Thursday and Thursday's weather driven by yet another low pressure system, this time just moving in towards the northwest. This occluded front bringing some heavy showers, but down towards the south, we've also got more heavy rain across southern parts of England lingering on that frontal system, combined with gales that are once again going to develop through the English Channel around some of these Irish Sea coasts and turning windy later in the day across the northwest too. So a next band of rain crosses from west to east, followed by sunny spells and scattered heavy downpours moving in from the northwest. Temperatures still about 7 to 9 in the north, but up to about 13, possibly 14 down towards the southeast. So it stays mild. A hint that through the weekend things turn a little less unsettled and those temperatures are going to drop a little bit by the time we get to Sunday. Bye-bye.